Well, it's been windy for a few days, and according to the weather forecast, it's gonna be another three or four days before the wind drops. So I'm not even gonna bother launching the boat, but I thought today what I'll do instead is I'll take you through some of my favorite lures for barramundi fishing. Um, I might just use my phone here to get the close-up um, shots for you as I'm talking. Um, we'll start over this way at the Barra Classic Lures. Uh, these are the lures that I use for trolling. Uh, hard body lures, they're built really strong, nice strong trebles on them. That's a brand new there, that's part of their Ghost series, uh, which means it's semi-transparent. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing or it doesn't make a difference, but it certainly looks cool. But anyway, that's uh, yeah, classic lures. These are Barra Classics. Um, yeah, they're really cool. As I said, I just use them for trolling. Uh, the next lure that I want to show you is a Reedy's Little Lucifer. Now, it was only recently that I picked up my first barra on these, but it ended up being, all in the one day, a really good session where I got several barra and a good mangrove jack all on the one lure, which happens to be that one there. You can even see the trebles on that have been bent. Um, but I wouldn't use that as a judge of, of the quality of the lure. Like that it's a good quality lure. It's just that I caught several big fish with it. So you're gonna get, get that sometimes. But yeah, the old little Lucifer, only a very small lure. I'll put it in my hand and show you the size. Tiny little lure. The biggest barrier I caught the other day was 84 centimeters on that. And I also caught a 77 centimeter barrier on that. So that's certainly a cool little bit of gear. You can see a few battle scars there. Yes, yeah, so that's the Reedy's Little Lucifer. There's a brand newie, ready to go. And when it comes to colors, I usually uh, don't really care about the colors. I'm, I'm colorblind, so uh, it doesn't really bother me what the colors are. Um, and I don't think it really bothers the fish, to be honest. Yeah, next we're gonna move on to my absolute favorite type of lure for barrow fishing. This is what I use for flicking, soft vibes. Now these, you can buy very cheaply online, eBay and all that, that's where I got these. Um, I think if you buy in bulk, you can probably get them for $3 each or something like that. Now the cheap ones, the trebles on them are useless. You can see that one there I've never used before, but that treble is, um, is bent already and I've never even used it. I've got another one here, there it is, which has had heavy use. The front treble completely gone and hooks snapped off the rear treble. Usually they just bend, but in this case they actually snapped off. And look, that's just a risk that I take when using these cheap lures with the cheap trebles on it. Uh, you are going to lose fish, but in my experience, I do also land a lot of fish with them. Something which I'm looking at trialing is, you can see this one here, I've upgraded the trebles on it. They're bigger and stronger. If I put it next to that one there, that's how they arrived, that one there and that's the upgraded ones. Now I was worried about the hooks being too big maybe and it would affect how it swims, but I've um, taken it down to the boat ramp and given it a test and um, it still swims very good in the water. So I'm looking forward to landing some big fish on the uh, cheap Chinese soft vibes with upgraded trebles. So after I've bought the $3 lure, bought a couple of trebles and put them on, I've now got something that's cost me about $5 in that lure there. So as far as uh, value goes for the ability to catch Barra, that's pretty awesome. If we look back over at the um, Barra Classics, that one there, I think cost me $22. Um, so yeah, it just shows you that you don't need to spend big bucks to get Barra money. Um, another option you've got, if you don't want to upgrade the trebles yourself, you can buy uh, a lure like that. It's still a soft vibe. It does have slightly better uh, trebles in it that you can see there compared to the the crappy uh, one there but this one did cost me twelve dollars and that's not even real name brand there what's that called fish snacks so just as a recap this is just in my personal experience as well uh, we've got the barra classics for trolling the little lucifers you can troll them and flick them and then you've got the soft vibes with these, you pretty much can't retrieve them slow enough when you're, when you're flicking. Flick it out, let it hit the bottom, and it'll twitch, twitch, little wind, twitch, twitch, just as slow as you can do it. Just, just give it a bit of, bit of action on the way in and uh, you'll love catching barra on them. So there's just a bit of an insight into some of the lures that I use for catching barramundi. I'm Mikey Cunningham and thanks for watching.
Hey, Bam Bams. <laughs>